Please be seated. Hello, Your Honor. Hello. This is the case of James versus Schimmel. Thank you, Jerome. Hello. Good day, everyone. Good day. Mr. James, you and Ms. Schimmel have been in court over fidelity issues in the past. Now you are back in court and you are claiming that it would have been nearly impossible for you to have fathered Ms. Schimmel's two-year-old daughter, O'Shell. Is that correct? Yes, Your Honor. Ms. Schimmel, you claim that despite the occurrence of several seemingly unbelievable coincidences, you have absolutely no doubt Mr. James fathered your daughter and you intend to prove paternity today. Is that correct? Yes, Your Honor. All right, so Mr. James, why do you say it would have been nearly impossible for you to have fathered Ms. Schimmel's daughter? Explain. Well, Judge, just like you said, it's merely impossible for me to have fathered Osha. It just doesn't make any sense because we only slept together one time. That's all it takes. <laughs> I agree. I agree. But we also... She had an ongoing boyfriend at the time. Oh. And it just doesn't make sense. The timeline is all the way off. So, Mr. James says it doesn't make sense and the timing is off, Ms. Schimmel. Does it make sense to you? Your Honor, I'm 100% sure that Randall is the father of my two-year-old daughter. She told me no, she was 100% I... sure that her ex-boyfriend was the father at the time. Well, because of the dates of conception, I believe that he is the father. I'm here today I, because I want to prove I that think to it was him. Convenient. It's caused a lot of strain on our relationship. I would like to get married and have a happy whole family. And this is causing so many complications and so much pain that we just need to solve this today. All right. So take me back to the nature of this relationship. How'd you guys meet? You say your relationship has been through some turmoil, but how did you meet? How did you connect? We met at a, a, a party in Flint. She was very fun when I met her. We, uh, we had a good time. We, uh, we drank a lot. And we, uh, we left together. We left the party together. And uh, we, went, we went to a room. Lord, so you didn't waste any time? No, ma'am. So you go to the room and you're intimate? Correct. With and... protection or unprotected? No, we did not. We did not use protection. <laughs> so I got up the next morning. And uh, I, I went home two days later. She texted me, and she told me she wanted to break it off. She didn't want to. She didn't want to talk to me. Text me. She wanted to just patch things up with her uh, ex-boyfriend. We uh, we didn't talk for about a year, eleven months to a year. Um, I was working in a factory. Just so happened that uh, she comes walking into the factory, and we see each other again. Really? Yeah. And I didn't even recognize her. Her hair was different. I didn't really recognize her at all. Well, I... it was <laughs> just one night. Did you get a good look at her? <laughs> Go ahead. Well, she came to me and said, I have a two-month-old daughter, and it is her ex's daughter. Oh, she because said... Because at that time, I really believed that she was his... So, his child. you said, I, I have a daughter, and she's by my ex. Yes. My yes. ex is the father. Yes. yes. And that didn't bother you, and you went on ahead and pursued the relationship. Correct. Because so our... you guys start dating again. Yes, yes. hardcore. And we, um, we... She told me in the beginning that this other gentleman, her ex, was the father. So for at least nine to ten months that we had been together after that, I was prepared for that. I, I mean, I was thinking that her ex was the father. Right. So... She, I come home from work one day. She, she sits me down, and she's like, I got to talk to you about something. And I'm like, what's up? And she's like, well, I went down and had O'Shell tested, and I just got the results back. Here they are. So I'm sitting here like, what are you talking about? Because you've been telling me that why did you even have to need a DNA test if you believe that your ex is the father? Right. So, You're... evidently, he had doubt. And that brought, that brought up a lot of doubt to me. They right look there. a lot alike. I mean, all my kids look alike. I had <laughs> them all early. There's a lot of things. You know, they look like me. So I don't understand why he's still denying my child. Well, I think it has a little no. bit to do with the fact that you had the ex tested and that you told him that the ex was the dad. So once you tell somebody that my ex is definitely the dad, he still buys in, has a relationship, you all make more children, then you go and test your ex, 
and only determine that he's not the father, then you just proclaim that he is. Your Honor, I mean, we were he... both sleeping with other people. So at that That's time... That's the problem. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> That's yeah. it. Well, as soon as she tells me that he's not the father, the ne- I'm sitting here like, oh, what is going on? She drops it on me. You're the father. Your I mean, Honor, in the same sentence. Now, no. you just went from this man being 100% the father to me being 100% the father. Who's the father? That's why we're here. And Ochel is how old at this point? She's, she's two. two. She's two. And so, well, why doesn't that make sense? If the other guy is not the father, and she says you're the only other person she was with, why wouldn't you believe you are the father? Because there's a third person involved. (laughs) If you want more episodes of Paternity Court, make sure to subscribe and click on the notification bell. So this is where Sven comes in, okay? What's his name? His name is Sven. Sven, okay. This is what happened. We were driving home from an amusement park, and uh, all of a sudden, her phone goes off. Now, I'm thinking, it's 12.30 at night. Who's messaging her? And I'm with her. So I'm driving, I'm driving, and she's sneakily and deleting it, sneaking it. So I'm telling her, I'm like, let me see the phone. Yeah. I'm trying to drive. Let me see the phone. She, I no, didn't want an argument. No. So I reached for the car and lost control of my car, wrecked my car. Mm. Oh, Lord. And you all were OK, though? We were OK, Man. but I retrieved the phone. <laughs> That's all I cared about, really. I ain't really cared about the car. Now you risking everybody's life over this phone? I wanted to know who she was talking to at 11 or 12.30 at night. Now, you know it's gone too far then. So... Go ahead. So, you have a car accident, but you get the phone. And I see the messages... I see the messages uh from Sven. Oh. It's asking her to come to the bar and meet him to have some drinks. Mm. Now, I find out that she... Because she kept saying to me that Spen was just a friend. Spen was just a friend. Now it's friends... Uh, Spen is a long-time booty call. So now I'm... Your I don't Honor. know. But now I'm still the father. So who is Spen? Miss Schimmel? Like, who is this? You got messages? He wants you to come to the bar? You're trying to delete the messages? Getting in car accidents? Trying to hide this man from Mr. James? Who is this man? Yes, Your Honor. Spin is somebody that I always turn to. Like, whenever I had any type of problems um, in a relationship, whenever I was single, he was, like, my rebound guy. He was friends... We were friends with benefits for, like, over seven years, okay? I never uh, messed with him since I've been in a relationship with Randall. I've been faithful to Randall. I don't know Randall. that. But were you... But, but my were thing you is, is that... sleeping with him during the window of conception? Two days after I slept with him, I slept with Sven. But when she broke up with me, she went and, and slept with And that's why I feel like Randall is still 100% the father, because me and Sven used protection the night that we slept together. Yeah, she was 100% sure with so, her ex, too. just to be clear, you don't use protection with a one-night stand, but you do use protection with a seven-year booty call. I didn't... We weren't gonna go any further than that, so why would I not use... This doesn't make now? sense, How Connor? are you going any further with a one-night stand? It doesn't make sense. None of this makes sense. Are you just picking a father, Miss Schimmel? Are you just... <laughs> I, I mean, I don't... I'm, I'm not I mean, look, okay, funny. so... Like, when... Okay. When the DNA test results came back, he was the first person I told. I came to him, I told him, you know what I mean? Like, this is how I feel. You're the only other option. You know what I mean? He's a great father. My kids have a lot of the same features, um, same eye shapes, same mannerism, same smile, um, a lot of the same features. They look like me. But that's not true, Your Honor, though. Um, O'Shea has green eyes. None of my other kids have green eyes. I don't have anybody in my family has green eyes. Um, O'Shea has blonde hair. Other mother two kids have black hair. Dark streak black hair. Brown eyes. I love the little girl to death, but she's just not... She's not mine. She's yours. You're the father. I don't believe so. 
And so you've been in this relationship. You all are growing your family. Yes. I love her with all my heart, but I just, I, 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 I have, I was adopted. So I know the importance between knowing your, your biological family and your, well, my adopted family. They raised me in a very loving, happy family. My birth mom left me in the, in the hospital. Uh, I was premature by two months. And uh, she, she uh, signed the adoption papers and left, so. Um, and I can see that still pains you. Yes, it does, a lot. And for that little girl to grow up and not know her real father or not know who her real father is, I wouldn't want her to do that. I mean, I understand, <clears throat> like, having all these doubts to be a man and still take care of this child the way he has is, um, is really big. You know what I mean? It's something to to um, be praised for because there's not very men that are just gonna step up not knowing. But I'm 100% sure that he's a father and I'm thankful for him being a part of my children's life. And I hear you, Ms. Schimmel, and I also hear Mr. James. He is not sure. And your testimony just gave context to why, you know, there are many men that just, oh, I'm the father, they buy into it. You know, we have two more children together, okay, it is what it is. But because of your life experience, you know what not having that information can do to you. Can do to you. Yes, ma'am. I mean, it's causing a lot of hindrance in our relationship for real. Um, just like the way there's sometimes where he, he'll go to the store and he'll be like, well, I'll take my kids. Referring to the two that we have. Really? Yeah, and it's heartbreaking. It really is. It's really heartbreaking because, like, she's beautiful and she deserves the same love and attention that my other two have. And she's innocent. And she's one of the three children you're raising in a household. Now, Mr. James, you done just spoke so beautifully about how it felt to be a child left behind. Why would you leave this baby behind when you go into the store? Um, I usually don't. I take her with me. I just say stuff like that because... To I, hurt her. Because I want her to tell the truth and I want her to deal with the fact that I'm not her dad. Mm. Before I go to the results, I want to make sure this baby gets the answer she deserves. Is there anybody else that could be her biological father? No, Your Honor. Okay. Jerome, the only way we're gonna get the real truth is to get the results. There you go. The first set of results are for Sven. The second set is for Mr. James. These results were prepared by DNA Diagnostics and they read as follows. In the case of James versus Schimmel, when it comes to two-year-old O'Shell, it has been determined by this court. Mr. Swanson is not the father. Are you kidding me? Sven is not the father even though he was not able to appear in court today, he did voluntarily submit to the testing. He is not O'Shell's biological father. All right. The next result is for Mr. James. In the case of James versus Schimmel, when it comes to two-year-old O'Shell, it has been determined by this court. Mr. James, you are not the father. <sighs> Ms. Schimmel. I know you want to run, but you can't hide from yourself. I'm sorry. I told you that this, this, 
it just didn't make sense, man. And I and I hate this. I hate this because we're still gonna not know who Oshel's father is. This won't. I mean, and I know she she probably gonna want to give up, and that's not gonna help our daughter. And I say our daughter because she's still mine. I know 100%. if Miss Schimmel really knows who O'Shell's biological father is. Your Honor, there is somebody else. I mean, like, I was... I was 20 years old. You know what I mean? I was having fun. I you was... don't have to give me any excuse. I always say, once you come to paternity court, once you have to appear in this court, it really can't be no shame in your game no more. Okay? No, really. I know it's sad. I know it hurts. You got somebody to console you. We got Dr. Jeff standing by for you to help you walk through this. This is it. Everybody in here been somewhere. Raise your hand if you ever done something you weren't proud of and it's not truly who you want to be in life. So now you see you not by yourself. Right? Yes. Now go out there and get yourself together. Live in your truth. Find this other guy. If he needs to come back to this courtroom, we are here. Fix it. And we'll be here if you need us. Okay. Thank you, Judge. Court is adjourned. <laughs>